TikTok, do I give a shit about this really? Not particularly. Um, weird challenge thing with this girl called Stephanie Freeman who decided to make it into some sort of opportunity to attack the black race, which I'm very angry about, which I don't really actually give a shit about to be honest. But um, yeah, it's a challenge of some sorts, I'm assuming, right? Where they, what, let's see this. I haven't actually watched this myself. Let's see what they're saying. Hey. Today we're making okay. niggers. Wow. First we have. Yeah, she said it. Okay, so they've. Got <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it. Put the camera on the words. So it just hovers above it. So there's two girls. Just not two girls. This couple. They're in a bathroom and there's this challenge where they. I think you pretend to make something, right? So sort of like taking the piss out of those instructional cooking videos where you sort of like the hand comes into into frame, pour something in, pour something in. So they start off with the actual dish what they want. There's a bit of paper with the N word written in it, as you heard the guy say, and then they pour the in, the ingredients in cup to cup on top of it, which different things in it. So let's just play. Fingers. <laughs> First we have black. Black. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, black. Yeah. Down there. Next we have don't, don't have a dad. Don't have a dad? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then we have eat watermelon and fried chicken. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, pretty good. That's pretty, yeah. <laughs> Next one is uh, make good choices. Let's um, see. Oh, oh, oh there's, there, there's nothing oh, there. Jesus Christ. Next we have rob people. Specifically whites, yeah. Imagine, imagine how being that age and having these kind of views that, like boiling inside of you. And then also having the guts and the gumption to start doing those dances on TikTok that are obviously inspired by black popular popular black music or whatever it may be. Um, it's just wild, isn't it? Like imagine, like, but of course it must come from somewhere, right? Parents are probably you know unhinged as well. There's probably a lot of uh, you know I, I I'd assume the Jews don't do don't fare too well in that household either, right? I think everyone gets it in there, right? Whether it's Asian, Jewish, black people, whatever, you all get it in that household. But God Almighty. They do that. Last one is go to jail. Um. Wow. Okay, so I guess that's the video. So what does she say? She's a senior that attends Carol. So again, the internet did what it does best. You know, I think when it comes to cancelling, I'm not really a fan. But I understand when moments like this when people start tagging her school and you know she goes to car was it Carrollton High School blah 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 and it's in Georgia too which has a very big population of black people wow okay it doesn't matter and so anyway I, I don't really, I'm not really for the whole cancelling thing I'm not a fan of it I think people should be allowed there um, should be allowed to redeem themselves everyone makes mistakes but and I do realize that there's some things that when they occur they're just so egregious that you're allowed to have a you're allowed to have an emotional reaction to it. Now, I wouldn't necessarily do it myself. Right? I'm not going to be the one to like call up a school and tell someone to get rid. But I understand the people that feel the need to do it. It's like their civic duty, right? To go ahead and tag the school, contact the dean, contact the admission person, and get that person written off, right? They're actively looking towards to do that. So here's someone like that could, you know, at a, a TV production company or something, right? I get it. Um, but yeah, what a mistake to make, especially now when everyone's at home and got time on their hands, everyone's on social media, everyone's going to see this, right? I think prior she probably could have got away with it because it might have come during the week of you know some rapper getting beaten up in an award ceremony some you know person in hollywood getting caught sleeping with somebody else like something could have happened in the news week that could have you know masked this kind of you know random college girl deciding to go on a you know racist video uh, making rant with her boyfriend in some small cupboard of a toilet that would have got, got sit under the rubber because everyone's at home, everyone's got access to their phones. What's the first thing they're going to do? They're going to be like, you know what? I can make good use of my time, right? I can get one over on the white man that's been holding me down and get these fucking, you know, racist so and so's off this platform. And it seems to have worked, but guessing by what um, the follow up was. So that's the video, of course. And then the follow up was this thing. I think she apologized, but I think it was too late. I think she got you know taken away from her school and shit but some of these screenshots are quite painful to read in terms of, you can hear the fucking terror in her voice but again you know big deal you have to if you want to do if you want to do dumb things in it you have to also accept the, the consequences so this is um 
a post that I found from a guy called Wilkinson Cherry. It says, LOL, it's crazy how at Steph, hashtag Stephanie Freeman has changed her tone so fast. Take this as a PSA to call racist white people. To all racist white people, sorry. If you're not racist, do not apply to you. Just because 45 is in the office doesn't mean that you, he can help you. We have no problem ruining your life. But she didn't, she, you didn't actually ruin it. That's a funny thing. She did it herself, innit? Imagine uploading it onto TikTok as well. My people have got their like private Snapchat story things leaked online, right? So what did she? Why did she think this would suddenly not be a thing? I don't know, really know. But there's this one screenshot we're looking at here where it's got Stephanie Freeman. She says, "No, I'm not sorry. What do y'all want me to say? The hell?" And then the next person, her underneath, I think the comment of her TikTok it says, "At least my dad can play, can pay to have his whole thing go away, which is more than I can say for you, fathers Negroes." Oh, gee, Jesus, she is firing hard with the end bombs, isn't it? Next screenshot here we got. Nick, of course, the, the the contrast in the flagrancy is always funny, isn't it? especially when it comes from people like normal average day people when they actually realize the severity of the issue. Because I think when you're that young, you don't really know what you're doing, right? She's you know, high school, I don't know, senior, whatever she is, right? She's probably under 21 years of age. You're kind of bored at home. You've got nothing to do. You've got, you know, you have these rates as force anyway. I can understand why you f- might think this is funny, kind of, amongst your group of friends who are also fucking nuts bags and scumbags, whatever. But you don't necessarily realize that you don't necessarily think five steps ahead. You don't think about what happens next, in it. You just think about the action itself, which is the height of immaturity. But the contrast in these two screenshots is just frightening, right? You've got this massive paragraph and you've got these quick, on the previous one, right? You've got these quick little notes and like, oh, I might just make you go away. So the second one of our apologizing says, I want to apologize for the important video I posted. I know in my heart I'm wrong for it was. My boyfriend is racist. See, so yeah, straight away throwing your boyfriend under the bus. Nah, mate, it's you as well. My boyfriend is racist. And he slowly normalizes racism on me. Yeah, what? What? when did racism turn into some kind of <laughs> hypnotizing charm people did to somebody, right? Usually, I'd assume if you were dating somebody and they happen to, you know, drop some hard are n bombs in your presence in a derogatory way or even in a good way right just you know if that person wasn't black and they was saying that kind of thing around you you would probably you know twist your head and be like what right and then you'd make a face you'd have a conversation about it and then you'd slowly but surely realize oh shit this guy's in the kkk and then you would even have to make a decision right do i stay do i go but it's not something that you kind of get convinced about like oh babe what's that why are you saying that word for and it's like don't worry we'll talk about it tomorrow there's not talking about it tomorrow you want to find out what's going on right now in it you could be living with a fucking murderer so this idea that he somehow slowly but surely you know uh what you call it what you call it um hypnotized them into believing these thoughts and you know was somehow you know playing all these images of like aggressive white black people in prisons beating people up and somehow trained her to kind of hate the this other is insane isn't it it really is really really bizarre especially considering that she lives in georgia there's tons of people around her right like I, i don't get how you could suddenly build up these weird closeted um you know Shorts lacking in I don't know what it is But let's continue the apology um, Still I should never have let him I believe blacks are human too Oh thanks darling <laughs> Made an image of Christ That should bring in Jesus Imagine In one paragraph Or in a couple lines She threw a boyfriend under the bus She's t- giving us the benefit That we are human That's nice of her to say I didn't know that And then she's also brought in Jesus Christ <laughs> Uh, I disappointed God Okay cool And I want to apologise I think God doesn't Accept apologies When it comes to racism That's what I've heard anyway um, It's my future And no one One mistake should ruin it Yeah it should It should though isn't it Like when people make mistakes If somebody Accidentally ran someone over And you If you if you accidentally Run somebody over And they die And you know You sort of Caitlyn Jenner You go to prison Right That's what should happen Isn't it But if you've got a bit of money And you know You know the right judges You might be able to get away with it But you still have that You know Um mark on you that people know that you ran someone over and they died but you just don't go to prison so you you know you have to live with the fact that people know that you did it it's like oj in it people know you did it but you know you you didn't do it but if you're a regular civilian and you do something like that and you decide to kind of go over to your ex's house and bludgeon the ex and everyone else in sight with a knife so hard that the head's hanging off you you are probably going to go to prison 
that is what it is so if you make a gaffe online that is really egregious that rubs people the wrong way you just have to, that's the thing i hate about the apologies i think the apologies are fine if you want to actually just tell people that you're sorry but the apology in the hopes of trying to erase what you did so you can get your job back or get you know whatever it may be or, or so you could make sure that you don't lose out on your brand deals is really scummy because once you do the scumbaggy thing you should be scumbag enough to be like you know what i'm gonna sit in this i know exactly what i said if it's if it cost me this new gig, if it cost me a presenting gig on itv i don't care because i want to tell everybody that i hate n-words cool do it but then once your job goes away don't then get on the internet and start crying and start apologizing and saying oh you made one mistake nah you just you knew what you're doing it didn't work out for you because imagine if you start imagine the opposite happens imagine she starts a trend of loads of people online social those are 16 year old white girls on, Twitter, on tiktok deciding that you know oh that's really funny to make these you know derogatory videos you know based on your color of your skin on anybody in the world asian whatever it may be imagine that becomes a thing well she didn't apologize she probably wouldn't so you're only apologizing because everything in your life that you hold dear has got pulled underneath your feet and again you said your dad is a rich person get him to sort it out Anyway, she says, um, I want to apologize. Please don't contact my college. Too late. It's Especially if you mentioned it there, isn't it? The first thing someone's going to do is contact your college. <laughs> it's my future. And imagine what people are doing now. They're probably calling up a college, pretending they're fucking Fox News or some shit to add severity to it. Oh, what a mistake. It's my future and one mistake. No, it isn't really. If you did this once, you probably did other things and not ruin my life. Also, please stop with the death threats again. I apologize. Sincerely, Steph imagine saying that right and then being upset people are threatening to kill you i wouldn't be worried about that the last thing i'd be worried about is preventing to kill you like that's what you're worried about really you're on the internet you're 16 don't you know that's just, that's part of the course that's what it is isn't it that's like somebody's saying first on a comment underneath a video it is what it is next screenshot um she says yeah i promise to dedicate my life to serving god <laughs> she can go to jesus camp no, what's that? Do you know they have that um, treatment that they supposedly have where they can uh, convert people from gay to straight, right? They don't have one for straight to gay, though, do they? Which is interesting. But um, they only have it for straight to gay, supposedly, right? They have these fucking conversion therapy camps that they go to. So what? Are they going to have these weird conversion camps that you're going to go to where they somehow make you like black people again? What? They're going to start playing, you know, Nelly's greatest hits and shit and some old school Shanti records. And they're gonna show you clips of power when it was good, and then suddenly you're gonna like black people. Like, well, what? <laughs> um, I promise to dedicate my life to serving God and treating every human being with respect. <laughs> Thanks, darling. I do not expect the public to forgive me, nor do I deserve it. You probably won't get either of those things, but I pray God forgives my sins. <laughs> God has to do a lot in it. Imagine in this epic, in this pandemic, God's having to answer people's prayers in terms of us making sure they don't lose their jobs making sure they don't lose you know precious family members and then he's also got this fucking girl in georgia praying to god about it, you know please let these people not ruin my chance of getting to college because i decided to do n-word <laughs> hard r videos with my boyfriend in our toilet fuck me but i i wonder what the boyfriend says he's probably doubling down and he's probably got a full kkk outfit on in it two guns up bro uh, but I pray God forgives my sins. That's the only way we heal. But I do take issue with one thing. Oh, okay. Let, let tell us, please. Hatred does not defeat hatred. Oh, the absolute, the absolute fucking balls on this girl to suddenly be telling, lecturing us about hatred, <laughs> mate. <laughs> let's run back the tape. What? Threatening, bullying, and cancelling me will not resolve the world's problems. Obviously not, but. This will obviously help me sleep better at night, right? Cancelling you, that would definitely help. Like, what? <laughs> Please, I urge everyone to seek God and find peace in Him. <laughs> Seek peace. I think she's talking to herself, innit? I think she needs the peace, really. And we're peaceful, innit? Imagine if you called up the school and you got her cancelled. You're probably sleeping like a baby right now. You did your job. You are quiet as a lamb. And then this one is telling you she hopes that you have peace. <laughs> Doesn't she know the internet? People have people get their peace, get their satisfaction from tearing other people down. If you give them any inch, 
and you decide to do the one thing on the internet that no one likes, right? Let's be racist, right? That's the one thing no one likes, right? They don't tolerate homophobia and they don't <laughs> tolerate racism. There's two things that you cannot do online. Oh, and fuck around with pets. Fuck around with pets, you know, be uh, derogatory towards blacks. Uh, <laughs> say anything bad about trans, gay, or queer, or homosexual people, you get cancelled immediately. She did two of those things, two of the three, right? <sighs> I mean, it's all one of the three, it doesn't matter. It, it, it's the poisonous three. You do one, you're out. Oh my god, and it's, I understand why people are angry at me, but how will ruining my life change that? It's not going to change anything, but it's going to be really satisfying. Uh, my parents live on fear for my life. That is not fair. What's <sighs> did I say you know she's young in it everything that you did is what led to your parents having fear in for their life it's your fault isn't it that's why I respected Irish for fear so much when he went on that tirade against Kobe and just like shut everything down no pity party yeah? that is what it is isn't it like, you said your thing you double down it is what it is you gotta live with that so if, if he decides to walk down the street someday and everything opens up again and he just gets punched by some dude and he's knocked out you just have to live with that it is what it is you can't start going to come, coming online and start saying hey we have to be conscious of each other and be safe and all this stuff no 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 you came out talking reckless about somebody you have to expect to get hit or to get some kind of retaliation and when it happens you just have to choke after the game alright cool shit hold my hands up it is what it is you can't start crying and telling and giving us lectures start giving us life lessons we didn't do the thing you started it I'm just reacting to what you did um, ruining my life won't change that my parents live in fear okay cool they live in fear we don't care and then the last one screenshot is what for the love of god stop sharing the video of my name and picture it's too late my dear you do not know what it, this feels like i've never been this scared it's just isn't fair imagine you're a stupid teenager just going along with stupid teenager stuff and then your life gets ruined I don't know about you, but when I was a teenager, I don't think I ever was with somebody. I thought, you know, hey, let's play a game where we start <laughs> doing the N-word in unison and start making these fucking weird jokes. I don't know. I didn't have that kind of growing up. I don't have that kind of you know humor growing up, but, you know, maybe it's just me. It says, get ruined forever. People not caring what's in your heart. Or oh, why would you care what's in your heart when we don't know you? Like, what are you talking about? Or <laughs> what you're likely like, what you're really like, Okay. Only the only defining you by stupid video. Please stop sharing the video. It is too late. And I'm assuming, I assume for the most part that she's probably off Instagram as well, right? Let's see if we can find that. Is she off? Stephanie underscore Freeman. Is that how you spell it, right? Freeman. Is she on it still or is it gone? I'm assuming it's gone, right? She's shut it down. It's not been shut down, it's still up. Okay, everything's been um purged. I'm sorry to any blacks that I got offended learn from my mistake that's a weird one isn't it the way they say blacks is super bizarre what's on the story is it still the same first time we've seen now what is it how is this anywhere okay just someone told her to go and die I guess okay fair enough but hey what could you do she's done in it she's done for she, she learned a lesson I think and you know bloody hell man that is that gave me some laughs some good old belly laughs that I did